Deep in the woods, about 45, 45 miles west of Boston, is a place called Monsterland. Parts of Lemonster, including the state forest, are home to sightings of Bigfoot and other unusual activity. Jacob Wyckoff met up with one man who's been on the hunt for decades. Well, I would go to meet friends or ride bikes, and there was a particular trail on the way that I would go down all by myself, about 11 years old. It was this eerie dead quiet. And then within seconds, the force erupted in front of me where trees and shrubs were moving. And I started to feel these reverberations through the soles of my feet of something walking. I was there for a few more seconds and I just took off. In that moment, were you scared? Oh, terrified. We're in Lemonster State Forest with Bigfoot hunter Ronnie LeBlanc, not far from his first brush with the mysterious creature. Since that initial encounter, Ronnie has dedicated his life to tracking the Sasquatch. I think because these things have happened to me personally, it's created almost this obsession where I need to find out more. LeBlanc is currently featured on the Travel Channel's Expedition Bigfoot. Ronnie? Yeah. Look at this. It's been pushed this way mm. and crushed. He's also written two books on the subject, both about the area dubbed Monsterland by the locals for decades. Monsterland, the reason it gets his name, because there were sightings of Bigfoot creatures going back to the, the late 1800s. Ronnie even helped cast these footprints found a decade ago. The pictures later posted on a Bigfoot blog. The experience of seeing something like that impression in the ground, six footprints, something I've seen in a lot of books of from the Pacific Northwest, and here we are in Massachusetts. And Monsterland is more than just Bigfoot. Your head starts to spin when UFOs and glowing orbs come into play. Believe it or not, Ronnie tells me there could be a connection between aliens and Bigfoot, and we could be just a few years away from actually unlocking that mystery. We witnessed a ball of light change and turn into two eyes. During one outing in Ohio, his mind began to change about what this hairy humanoid really could be. And then become basically this eight foot shadow that ran in front of us. Are these things physical or are they something that's more paranormal, more, more spiritual? And if they're paranormal, Ronnie believes their origins may be from above. This is something that's maybe more alien, more interdimensional. 99% of these could be all made up and everyone can just be saying whatever they want. But if you have that one that is legit, this whole thing is real, then it just, it's a game changer. And I think it's a paradigm shift on, on how we see the world and how we fit in it, in this universe, really. From Monsterland, Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News. Wow, that's the spot to be on Halloween. Oh, wow, now I'm scared. <laughs>